what's up guys, Jackson and Matt here with PC Bros. And today I'm just doing a quick tutorial on how to install a M.2 NVMe SSD. Also how to remove one. And we're also gonna talk about what if it is under your GPU. Let's go ahead and get into it. So not all NVMEs are gonna have covers like this one. This is basically just like a nice heat sink, just a hunk of aluminum or steel to help wick some of the heat away, but they really most of the time don't actually even need it. So one of the things you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take off this peel. So this peel is covering basically a reusable thermal pad that'll help out to really wick that heat away. So you're gonna peel that off just to make sure that you're actually making contact. Now here we have a team group NVMe M.2 SSD. This is a one terabyte. Now it's a gen three by four, but as you can see, this motherboard is gen four ready and so is the CPU. So if you wanted to get a gen four SSD, you totally could, but they look the exact same. They don't really perform too much different. Now, sometimes you're gonna actually have a screw that you can use to hold down the M.2, but this one actually just uses the whole entire heat sink. So you kind of just want to line up the screw holes just like so, put that back down. And then you do not need to crank these down very hard. Just pretty much finger tight is really good enough. There we go. All right guys, so it took me forever to find a build that actually has a M.2 slot underneath the graphics here, but I did finally find one. It's a little more rare. Normally you're always gonna have your main NVMe slot up top above the graphics card, but this one is actually underneath it. So we take off the side panel first. We're gonna disconnect the PCIe power if you have a graphics card that requires it. And now your graphics card's usually gonna be held in with about two or three screws, depending on how many slots it takes up. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those screws. Sometimes they're on the outside of the case. Sometimes they're inside like this. So now the screws are removed, there's gonna be a little slot or a release bracket is what I should say on the back of your PCI lane. So don't just pull the card out, make sure you push that uh, bracket down or to the side, whatever releases it. And now you can see our NVMe right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out. You're gonna need a PH1 for this, by the way. Most of the screws on your standard computer are gonna be PH2, but for NVMEs and M.2s and whatnot, they're almost always gonna be a small PH1. So now we're just gonna do reverse installation. So once again, we're just gonna put this here. And this one's actually a SATA SSD for anyone that cares. So this one's not actually M.2 interface, it's actually SATA interface, just like your standard two and a half inch SSD. You can tell by the two uh, slots, how it's basically an M key slot. All right, so we got that back in. Now the graphics card, you don't need to do the release bracket now since we already released it. So you should get a nice click. In that case, we just got some nice crunchy sounds. That's good enough. As long as your graphics card's in there all the way and it's uh, relatively straight, you're good to go. Make sure when you screw in your, uh, your coarse thread screws to hold in the graphics card that you kind of hold the card up a little bit just so your card isn't sagging down. And uh, sometimes it can make your video slots kind of hard to plug in if you don't hold it up. All right, now we just plug in our power for the graphics card and we are good to go. We have now successfully um, taken out an M.2, put one back in. We did one outside of the case um, over here, just like this, which is actually under a heat sink. And then we also showed you how to get your graphics card out to get to an M.2 or a SATA M.2 underneath the graphics card. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. And as always, check out PC Bros for some PCs.